Hey Sagittarius, Everlong Mistake here. So we are going to get you a message from from your dragon, and we're gonna see how how your dragon can help you because they want to help us. I was kind of pulled to do dragon messages because I've just been getting a lot of dragon stuff like pop up on my feed and the whole like, oh, the wood dragon year and... And I finally like broke down and got the name and like I connected to my dragon and got... I was given a name and I know what it looks like now. I feel like I've <clears throat> neglected that... Uh, for too long, and I was reminded just how assistive the energy is. Well, here we go. So there is a we have the four of uh, the four of wands here. This is. Uh, Kind of in, in the Dragon series, this is the Door Opens Doors card. So, your your dragon opens doors. Like, if there's, like, a gate that's locked, it unlocks the gate for you. It's like a, I don't know, like a gateway dragon or something. And <laughs> that's kind of cool, because, you know, Saji like to explore sometimes. Oh, multiple doors. Okay, so we have we have seven of cups here. So that's kind of like this variety. Oh, cool. Okay, so we have the four of we have the the four of swords here, which is kind of like that meditation type card. I mean, yeah, I could mean you know get some rest, but. <clears throat> it's it's about connecting. There are there are multiple ways to connect to your dragon Sagittarius and one of the best ways is through meditation. I kind of want to say that like I think someone else had something s uh, similar where your dragon can actually help you with meditation. Like your dragon can help you get to the point to where you can communicate with the dragon. It's like you just need to ask. It's like don't let that be a, a reason or an excuse not to try to connect or, you know what I mean? Ooh, and the sun comes out. You know, I am loving this embrace. There's like this big embrace here that the sun is shining. It's like your, your dragon loves you. I want you to be so happy. <laughs> and then we have the Empress. Wow. It's like your, it's like your dragon wants you sitting on your, sitting on, on your own throne here with your own, like being completely confident in yourself, being able to nurture anything into existence that your heart desires. Ooh, look at this. We have the Hierophant here. Wow, there's two dragons in this card. I don't like both sides of things, and I love that it's on the Hierophant card because it's like this, 
And we've got like this gateway, you know, card or this door opener. It's like, imagine the possibilities. Imagine the realms. And it's like being able to see both sides of things as well. Oh my gosh, High Priestess. You have the Hierophant and the High Priestess here, Sagittarius. <clears throat> if you've been looking to kind of broaden your horizons spiritually or with psychic abilities, uh, call on your dragon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Four of Cups. Now why? You know what, this feels like a reaction from you and I don't, I don't, if it is, I don't know why. Why would you be reacting in a Four of Cups? Because it, I know that there were a couple signs that had this, um, Kind of like a Five of Pentacles problem. And um, this this seems to be something f like, like, like something that you're seeing as a, maybe as a crutch or something you haven't worked through yet. Perhaps there is a bit of grief that you haven't fully worked through, Sagittarius. I mean, it seems, it's it's a little depressive, but it seems more about loss than anything. Like, I don't know, I don't want you to, I don't want this to have a hold on you. But, um, I don't think your dragon wants, wants that either, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it wants to help you with, with this as well. <clears throat> it's almost like it wants to free you of this energy so that you can you can explore more spiritual heights or whatever are you shitting me look at you look at you you have the sun coming out under the sun you have a double sun Sagittarius oh my gosh a double sun. You know, I don't even know what the, uh, like the symbolism is for a double sun. I've, I've heard people talking about it, but I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember anything about it. It might be something to look up, but, um, <clears throat> like to, to reiterate, your dragon does not want you in the, down in the dumps. Your dragon wants you primed, ready, happy, in love, all, all the good stuff. You know what I mean? Wants you in the zone. Ooh, and then we have the Emperor showing up. <gasps> the Emperor is showing up under the Empress. What? What is going on here? Talk about, like, alignment. And you don't even have the Seven of Pentacles here, but... It's like, there's something about things really matching up here. Because you've got, like, Emperor, Empress, that's a match. You've got Sun, Sun, that's a match. You've got, even the Hierophant and the High Priestess, that's kind of a match. And you've got twins. Twin dragons, that's a match. There is something peculiar about matches with you and your dragon, Sagittarius. Huh. I feel like I could just like go dive in and do like a whole nother reading on this. Like, uh, 
like what like Cindy style where I I get the baby deck and I just explore each card but I'm not gonna do that because these need to be these are meant to be brief so that you can connect with your dragon personally and get the rest all right Sagittarius I'll see you later bye